Welcome to the summary of art history in 5 minutes. Today we're going to learn how art has evolved. We're going to start with cavemen, who were the first to create art. They made animal paintings in caves like the one found in Losco, Italy from 15,000 before Common Era. Apart from the cave paintings, they made small sculptures of exaggerated female forms called Venus and the prehistorians built an interesting monument for worship called the Stonehenge. Then we have Mesopotamian civilization, which developed a different art. They sculpted mythical creatures, developed the cuneiform writing, and their sculptures represented kings and priests in a praying attitude. They also built ziggurats, which were step pyramids for worship. Now we have Egyptian art from 3000 to 1000 BCE, which reflects religion and their belief in the afterlife. Their main artistic achievements are the pyramids of Giza, their temples, their sculptures like the Sphinx, and they use the frontalism technique in their paintings. Greek art from 1000 to 146 BCE was based on humanism. Sculptures represented the ideal human bodies. They were made of marble and bronze. Their architecture represented simplicity, proportion, and perspective, like the Parthenon. They also developed the amphitheater and created tragedies and comedies to be performed. Next, we have Roman art. From 146 BCE to 313 AD, its characteristics are realism, multiculturalism, and themes of power and might. Some recognized architectural works are the Colosseum, mosaics, equestrian statues, and frescoes. Then we have medieval art from 1100 to 1453 AC. Here we have three styles. The Byzantine, which chose mostly religious icons and they used ivory and gold to show the strength of their empire. Then the Romanesque, which is also with a mainly religious theme, employing an emotional and expressive style. And Gothic, which reinforces symbolic meaning. Here we can find the artworks Christ as Savior of Souls and the Notre Dame Cathedral. The characteristics of medieval art are they are very religious, very outlined, and bright colors. Then Renaissance movement started in 15th century, which means the rebirth of classical ideas of Greece and Rome. Here we find some of the most recognized artworks and artists nowadays, like the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, he used the schematic technique, the sculptures of Michelangelo, and the paintings of Raphael. Next we have the Baroque period. The church used art as propaganda and the chiaroscuro technique was invented. The most recognized artists are Caravaggio, Bernini, Rubens, and Velázquez. The next movement is Neoclassicism, which refers to the emulation of Greek and Roman art. It was believed at this time that art should serve as a social purpose. Romanticism is a wave of expression. Romantic artists believe that imagination and emotions are most important. Then photography was invented in 1826. Next movement is realism, which aimed to focus on unidealized subjects and events that were previously rejected in artwork, and impressionism sought to paint impressions of what the eye actually sees. Post-impressionism is against impressionism. Then we have expressionism, which emphasizes inner feelings. Here we find the screen by Edward Monk. Cubism emphasizes composition over expression, and the most known artist of this movement is Pablo Picasso. Finally, we have Surrealism, where the artist focuses on the importance of dreams, fantasies, and hallucinations. One of the most known artists is Salvador Dalí. Thank you for hearing this video, hope you like and hope you have learned about the time periods of art.